want to remind you if you like the video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell good morning it is the 12th of april it's a monday it's a five day work week what are we doing this week we continue with the installation of the geezers we are also finishing up the plaster on the inside so that we are ready for skimming obviously on the new section we still have to do the window sills on the, out, on the outside and still finish up the brickwork on the internal once that is all done we can then do the window sills on the old extension we also have finished up the painting of the sprockets the pink primer that we put on the sprockets prior for us to painting we have completed that we need to do one or two more things on the roof trusses to support them in the sense of strengthening them that's on the new section this section has all been completed we have to patch up these walls and these pipes where the chase and the electrician and the plumber and also the aircon guys have done that we need to do that this week so that we are ready for skimming on the new section and obviously on the old section we need to start with plastering this week on the external so once the window sills are all built we hit the the plaster on the external from wednesday we're going to build that firewall as i explained in the last video so busy week we need to get a whole lot of stuff done and we can see if we can get the materials here for us to start with the floor screed that will allow then the flooring guy to come in once the walls have been painted first coat so that we don't paint on top of the brand new floor. Good morning. It is 13th of April. I'm at the first floor extension and renovations where we have completed the following. All the inside plaster work around the windows has been done. The patchwork inside the old section has also been completed. The geezers, 150 litre, 200 litre and another 200 litre inside the old section has all been installed. So plastering is done. The reinforcement of the roof, that piece is over there. The brown ring over there in the new section has all been completed. And in the old section we just need to do a few more of the hoops. But other than that, all is good. Today we're starting to plaster outside. We have to put a steel angle on the outside. I'll explain to you a little bit later of what we need to do to support some of the brickwork because we need to follow the same line at the bottom as the old house. So we need to follow that to the new extension, but we're plastering on the external today. We have finished the ridges. We need to do some flashing around the chimney on the opposite side. That's on the old section where the chimney flute is going through. But other than that, we've done well, geezers, um, as I said, are installed. We're starting with the external plastering, so it's going to be a lacquer day.
as you guys what you can see behind me is he's basically putting an angle on so that he can have that line that's running over there it needs to continue that brickwork is higher than this line over here that's the old house and obviously that's the new house so what we need to do is we need to line up that little piece over there all the way through so we're putting an angle on so then we can brick on the angle up to the top what the guys are doing now is they're just putting in some threaded bar so 120 millimeter threaded bar with a big washer and a nut and some chemical anchor the chemical anchor will obviously go into the concrete beam that's over there and it will be secure we only it's basically only two or three courses that we need to support it's nothing structural it's just to get that old line of the house lined up with the new brickwork so that's what the guys are doing over there and before we do any brickwork we'll obviously put red oxide to prime it and then we continue up all the way to that corner down that section over there we're not going to put anything on because we just want this facade to look the same and that side is going to be flush so just a little bit of an update what we've done before I started obviously getting all of my construction projects on YouTube we installed a subsoil drain prior to us casting the column those one two three four five columns we cast it but before we had to cast that the engineer asked us to do install a subsoil drain so we've got a subsoil drain running from there and then along that section over there and then it basically comes all the way down over here runs in through here and then disposes over there no water is coming through there at the moment but as soon as we have like a three or four day rainstorm we have standing water because in this area over here there's a lot of groundwater that does then trickle out it doesn't trickle continuously so it's not groundwater continuously coming up but as i said when it does rain it does trickle so just a little bit of information before i forget the first floor extension and renovation where I haven't been here for the past two and a half days I'm not putting it on the weekly videos otherwise the videos are going to be too long but what have we done on the internal of this project all the window sills has been done barring two we still need to just neaten up that little window sill over there because that window over there was a little bit out of skew so it was tilting about that way that one is done that window over there is done this is done remember as I said in previous videos the vanity is going to be over there bath over there massive shower and then we've got our own separate toilet going further into the house we're leaving this window open purely for the fact that we still need to bring material up so it's river sand plaster sand and cement in order for us to do the floor the screed can start soonish we first just want to do the ceilings and then we can do the screed Windows reveals are done in that section over there. Going further through the house, reveals has been done. Reveals has been done and reveals has been done. This window in this bathroom we still need to do. And that window fell out the day before yesterday. Immediately phoned Pegasus, the aluminium company that's supplying the windows. 
they immediately came, picked it up, brought it back, fixed it, big up to Pegasus Aluminium. Let me quickly go show you outside what we have done. We obviously started with the external rendering. Now the external rendering is not the same as we're doing on the internal of the house. Seeing that we are not floating it, we're basically just brushing it on. So it's a very watery mixture that we make. We brush it on with a big, uh, a big uh, block brush and then we prime it and then we paint it. So you can see the plastering has been done. That little section over there, we still need to just do the brickwork and then we can plaster it complete. What we still need to do is the window sills on the exterior and then we're going to do a band all around the windows. That's probably going to be 100, 150 millimeter plaster band and that's going to protrude a little bit further than the existing brickwork just to give it a little bit more of a effect a rounding off opposed to just a square opening where the windows are going to be in that section over there has all been completed as i said window sills need to be done that window not installed i know reveals around the windows needs to be done and around that side it's also been completed external plastering what we still need to do is obviously on the beams on the columns and we still need to then do the ceiling underneath the void con I'll explain to you maybe in next week's video what Voicon is, why we use it, benefit, and all the good things with regard to permanent decking system and solution. So yeah guys, I'm really happy with regards to what the guys have done here. They've also been on the roof with regards to cleaning all the tiles after they've mortared in the ridge. We need to now get a, uh, uh, we need to get a paint that is a similar color to the tiles and then we will paint that section over there. So for next week, ceilings, ceilings underneath the void con and continuing with the plaster. We then can start with the screed as soon as the ceilings are done and then we can start painting.